Hey guys, what's up? Headed over to pick up Travis right now. We are gonna go turkey scouting. And now I do, now let's put it this way. I don't know if I will be able to go opening day, but I do guarantee you that I will have a random off day sometime between opener and the end of the season that I will be able to go. So, but anyways, we, me and Travis, I'm gonna go pick him up. We wanna take a run around and look around and see what we see and see if we can find some turkeys and Travis mentioned hey let's do a turkey scouting vid I said hey perfect opportunity let's do it get some content take you guys along and let's see what we see preseason scouting it is here and someone's calling me from New York is that bad coronavirus oh, yeah. it's a test it's probably Cuomo or somebody I really like Onyx maps because some areas that I've always wanted to hunt and wasn't sure if we could hunt them. Um, Onyx has a way to just, you know, to prove that it is uh, BLM lands, which we can hunt here in California. You'd be surprised how many times things are posted and you think that it's private and it's actually BLM land. Um, but we're gonna do some turkey scouting today in an area that I've hunted before. I've never killed a bird there. The kids have killed, Taylor and Talon have both killed birds there. And uh, seen a lot of birds there, but I just never found one. Last year we had a bird come in to 30 yards. My dad and I were set up and Talon was, he was about 30 yards from us. And um, he wasn't even calling, the bird was coming up this ridge. And um, I learned something there because of uh, topography. The bird had a much easier time coming up to Talon than he would to come to us. And um, I wasn't even expecting to call a turkey in at, that, at the moment. But um, he came right up to Talon and uh, I don't know what happened, but <laughs> Talon missed him pretty close and he was pretty upset. So that's something I learned is, is look at the topography. Like, you know, what, what areas could the bird come from? And they could come from anywhere, but certain situations are more likely to come from certain areas. But we're gonna go up there and scout around, check it out, maybe find some birds for this weekend. Well, we found our location. He's about the only one, huh? With the big, these are all jigs right here. Yeah. He thinks he's a Tom, he's, either, he's a, just a jig. Look at the little. I'd shoot him. He's got one sticking out. He's good. Pretty good group of uh, jigs, though. It's a bobcat, guys. You see him right there? Right in the dead center. He's really red, huh? Yeah. Exactly. Look at him just creeping through there. His tail, his tail. Yeah, it's flickering. They're so cool. I like. They're so cool. Gonna cross back over again. We made it. I thought Travis was gonna kill me. I didn't know. That's the reason why he doesn't drive. I didn't know he was a psycho driver like that. We get a gobble here. You guys can tell 
as uh there was a fire here a couple years ago so it really um cleared up the underbrush where it was really bad and actually helps you see a lot better but it's grown back really fast it's already starting to get thick in here again um, but it has helped that fire did definitely help you be able to see farther and see more Travis is walking up on that hill gonna make a couple calls see what he sees and hear hear what he hears we're seeing we're seeing tracks all over the road we've seen a ton of turkeys back there a little bit farther and they've killed quite a few turkeys out of here so we're definitely um, in the area just it is in the afternoon so it's obviously not like the best time of day as I guess turkey hunters feel for afternoon stuff but we're just taking around taking a look at what we've seen like I said we've already seen a lot of turkeys so it's looking pretty good and that nice green grass all over the ground sure makes it nice to uh, be able to see those turkeys a lot easier got a gobble good sign See if we can go get him to sound off again. Just for the fun of hearing no gobble. Be done. Oh, for a gene. For what? Woodford mounts. Hard to find. Type of Call you? Travis 209 for the best <laughs> tax. <taxidermy. laughs> I'm just driving around, guys, and he he sees some nice driftwood. Did you find any? Yeah, pieces. Mm -hmm. Couple pieces. He uses it. He's a waterfowl taxidermist. I wouldn't say that, that doesn't want any more work. I wouldn't say I'm a waterfowl. He's he's a little I'm back. A hobbyist. He's a little back to. <laughs> and your license on your wall says otherwise that you are a professional waterfowl tax oh, okay. Very good work, but don't call him, he'll call you. Those hands, put your hands They're around. This we do know. This we know. End of the day, boys. He's got a hen there out in front of her. Him. Let's take him look back at us. <laughs> he took a look and then turned away. I think we're gonna end the video there. What do you say? About cool. the end of the line. Yeah. Kind of where we're seeing turkeys. So, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Next video you see will hopefully be some, one of us whacking a turkey. I don't know. It depends on work for me, but just doing some scouting. Travis said, hey, let's run up there. And I said, that sounds good to me. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. And I uh, wish you guys all luck opening day, whenever that is for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I uh, wish you guys all luck opening day whenever that is for you guys thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe we'll see you next time